This is a painting called Feed. Um, it's another full body painting. It reminds me of one I did called Outlet. I can't remember the year that I did it, but I really liked it on the onset. Everything with it went very smoothly. I will apologize because I did flip this around and jump around when I worked on it a lot. When I watch other people's like speed paints or time lapse, like paint with me videos, they were like able to zoom in and focus on certain portions of the painting, which I'm not able to do because I work pretty erratically. And with this one in particular, because I was working horizontally on the canvas, I I had to move around a lot and I had to, I chose to flip it around a lot so that it was e easier to execute the flow and keep the fluidity that I think is, it's very much my style. With everything else, I'm just like, oof, I don't know, I'm... I need to mull this over, but I feel like painting for me is a bit meditative, and I really just go with the flow, and since I feel, felt good about the sketches, and it really is, like, I can just, I can just merge with this and completely forget that I exist as a person, it's just like, I am a paintbrush, I feel this color, and I feel this color, and I feel that color, life is simple. In my last video, I talked a lot about film to movie adaptions, and one of them that I forgot because I brought up my back tattoo, which is Interview with a Vampire movie inspired, but it's also book inspired because the scene in the book I'm obsessed with, and it's the, um, it talks about, do you know what it means to be loved by death? And it's like, that makes you a bride. That's like literally the exact quote of it I think and that's what I have tattooed on my back but I have on the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina shirt today and that's another adaption it was adapted from a comic book series um I own all of the ones currently published the series of the comics isn't done but the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina the tv show doesn't follow the storyline and I don't really know how that works licensure wise how they were able to come up with a show based off a comic book series which they didn't follow but then write a whole new ending when the comic book series is not finished in the comic madam satan is not lilith and in the comic the woman is not as focused at all but i really like her to be honest with you she's a little bit chaotic she she just really was like, I mean, she was just re in, uh, she's, I don't know if reincarnated, reincarnated is the word. She's just resurrected. She's still trying to get used to her new body. I feel like you're asking a lot of her to come out with an agenda. But anyway, she's not Lilith. She, I think she's just like a random normal woman who has a flair for maybe the dramatics um, her name is Iola, if I'm remembering correctly, and I much prefer I, the comics to the book, I, and I don't know if that counts, and it, it's difficult to talk about, because it is dark, but that just popped into my head is, um, something I forgot, and since I was thinking about Madam Satan and Interview the Vampire, which I have tattooed, there are other fictional characters like, um, Grimalkin from the Spooks series. And Spooks, as I realized it, really, like, breaking down what they do, Spooks are basically just Grimm's. And that reminds me of a different book series, which is, um, which goes back to vampires. It's called Strange Practice. I love it. It has different vampires in it. Uh, Varney, and there's another one. But it's just, like, iconic. I love it. They include Paris. Like, it's, it's... Vivian Shaw, she did a great job. Something I'm curious about, if you watch this video, could you maybe comment and uh, give me feedback? I'm curious if anyone perceives my art as being horror or, like, scary. Um, my dad once said that he kind of was unsettled by my art, but I don't know. I think he's just unsettled by me as a person. I don't get him either, so it's fine. But if you think my art is horror, can you please comment that? 
as I'm reflecting on, like, it being October, I'm like, am I a Halloween year-round sort of person? And I, I mean, this is a stupid question because I wear skeleton sweatpants and, like, skeleton hoodies all the time. Would you say that it's horror? Is it scary? Does it disturb you? How does my art make you feel? Please comment if you can. Thanks. I don't comment, but I'm asking you to. Don't be like me.